has changed me a ton in the last two years since I've been officially diagnosed. I'm sure people meet me and are like, she's not sick, she's fine, she looks fine. She was running around with her kids out there, but I save all my energy for moments like that, for like when I'm at the playground or when they need me are also times where I push it too much and you know, where I shouldn't be um, just because I wanna be that perfect active mom person in my head that I used to be. It's gotten me in so many different parts of my body, joint pain, nausea, headaches, fatigue, depression, anxiety. So all these psychological things that go along with it. I mean, it changes who you are. Like when you physically can't move. I spend a lot of my time trying to hide it or cover it up. Going to Molly's support group was huge for me. I, had, I mean, I was like in this sort of depression. I always ask my kids, if you were a superhero, what would your power be? Be able to heal people. So a cure for lupus. Lupus is a constant misery, really. Prednisone every day? Remember? Pretty severe arthritis um, in any or every joint of my body, including my jaw. You know, you wake up and you think, okay, this is what today is going to be. Um, okay, we're going to take extra pain meds today, or, or we're going to cancel this event. I kind of fight that continual keeping people happy and trying not to get myself in the hospital. It's hard to just keep smiling and pretend like everything's fine. You know, I have great friends, but they're always happy. And I don't want to bring them down. So it's easier to just stay at home and be with Madison. I think my biggest fear is that Madison grows up knowing she has a sick mom. Some days I just don't pick her up much. I try to get her to walk with me or, or I don't hold her or I have a backpack I can put her in and that's a little bit easier than using my hands. Trying to pad the impact of walking, getting up, being on the ground on my knees is very painful for me. Housework, I don't do the laundry anymore. My husband does it. Being connected with the Molly's Foundation, I realized I could really put myself in a grave if I don't slow down and, you know, you don't get a normal life. The treatments that they have for lupus are so harsh and so hard on the body. We desperately need new treatments, you know, new medicines, some, you know, other options. If you had told me that you had lupus eight years ago, I would have said, wow, that really sucks, but not really understood what, you know, waking up in pain means every day and um, what arthritis at 20, 30 years old means, you know, feeling, I used to say a lot, I felt like I was 70, I always felt like I was 70. Um, makes you fearful of what's to come, you know, what will I feel like when I'm 70 if I'm around.